Hello, sexy Santa Water Squad. Tox toxic boy here. <laughs> Juice box boy here. Hold on, I'm stressing. Ah! Okay. Juice box boy here. I'm going full damage Wukong. It's like I told Shiv. It's a full damage kind of kind of day, man. I just need to go full power and smack someone in the peen. That's 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 the kind of day I'm having right now. <laughs> I will say I'm against a Lancelot, which it doesn't look good for me right out the gate. But if you ignore everything, then maybe it'll be fine. Minions and jungle camps take an extra 30% damage on your one. I thought it was 20%. I wonder if it got buffed or not. Why is this one on instant cast? I literally everything is on instant cast. I play on instant. Where is it? Controls, yeah. By the way, if anyone's ever wondered what my keybinds are, you just go to your key bindings and you click reset, and there you go. You're done. I play on default keybinds uh, with instant cast. Collect their souls. Oh. I never noticed the skies like that. Kind of like a butthole. Interesting. Anyways, let's do my blue. I'm not going to double buff because uh, I can't help but feel like I will definitely get out cleared by a Lancelot. I'm just going to single buff it. And if he's double buffing, I will go try to try to yoink that. He is double buffing. Hello. Oh, we got that auto off. Oh, I hit harder than you. He got the uh, he got the auto attack off. What if I just annoy the crap out of you and literally just clear with autos? So anytime you walk up, I just beat you up. Okay, first blood. I guess it works well, huh? Me just holding my abilities since I have pressure. So he got a double buff, but I got a kill and a buff. I'll take it. it. Takes me 18 decades to clear these things without my abilities. Nice. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Did he just back? Oh, he's doing XP camp. Okay. All right, he's on his horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't scare me. Oh, you are dead here unless you ult. Yeah. There we go. I could maybe dive on him, but it would be risky, and I'm not in the I'm not in the market to take risks at the moment. So I'm just gonna go back. Get my transcendence. A couple of pots and head over to that red buff. I really want my speed buff, but uh Damn, did he use an ability on that? Alright, carefully watch his gold. Hello? Nice. All right. I wonder if I could kill him. I don't know, man. Seek out the weak. I really want to try. Oh, he probably has his transcendence now also. And his transcendence is going to do quite a bit of damage. Because, you know, lands a lot. He's doing his buffs right now. I just saw him go over to his blue. No shot I'm letting you take it. Alright, so when they go for the blue buff, what you do is you take it while pushing the wave. Nice. A wave is pushed. Oh, no. I could have killed, maybe. Oh, you used it? 
Oh, you greedy boy. Okay, all right. All right, he's got the alt back up. I kicked him off that horse. If I didn't kick him off the horse, there's a chance I could die, and I'm not willing, like I said, to take the risk. I want him to use his abilities. I have much longer range abilities than you, so... Oh! Bro! The archers knocked him off his horse when he was coming to throw it at me. So he used his one. He used his one, and it, it completely whiffed. Because the archers knocked him off. Let's go, MVPs. I still think I would have killed him, but it, it would have been much closer. Archers are so great, man. They're so great. I just wanted the stack of my transcendence. That's why I slapped down on it. All right, soul leaders online so leader doesn't do too much damage but oh you know what maybe i'll do the evolution wukong build instead of the full power one i always have fun doing that i've only done it like two times i think can i have that oh i can't have it you have alt because if you don't you die here I sure hope you have ult. Ah, oh, you do. Okay. Okay, okay, fair enough. Oh god. Wait, maybe I die here. Oh, I really want to dive, man. Oh, dude, you are way too low to stay. Let's go. He shelled, but it wasn't enough. He shelled, but it wasn't enough. Now I get your blue buff. And then I can clear the wave. And then do my... Uh, actually, I'm just going to go straight to my blue. The wave will always be there. Well, not always. They'll kill each other very slowly, but... If I go for the wave here, then I think he meets me at my blue buff and he takes it from me. Which I don't... I don't want that to happen. Now, let's do evolution build. So there's an, the other evolutionary item is Devos. So obviously I'm going to go Devos. Um, and then I can go... Was it Hide of the Urchin? It's a big wave. Excuse me. Captain, those are mine. Don't do that much damage to him. I thought he got his back off, I guess. He's going to horse and one through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Predictable. <coughs> I think I can kill, actually. Ah, uh, no. He'll have ult. It's fine. It's fine. I'm really surprised he doesn't want to fight, though. Devils is how much? 1,700? And then... Let me see. Uh, any other damage items I can get? That evolve? Oh, I could go Rage. <laughs> I could go Rage. Hmm. Interesting. I have Soul Eater now. He, he does get the red buff, but that's fine. I can go get my Devos, too. I don't think I die here because Soul Eater's OP. I missed. And now I circle. Did you not do red? Oh, he did. Okay. Very interesting. interesting. I don't think you ever come close to winning this fight. Because, like I said, Soul Eater is kind of OP. Hello. There's the alt. Get 
Okay. Yeah, he's just going to surrender that. I assumed as much. Um, I guess I'll try in game number two for the Wukong. You there? Yo, what's up, boys? Welcome back. Uh, fighting in Osiris as Wukong. I don't know if I evolved this build. I'm fighting a Susano. No, I'm fighting an Osiris named Susano. <laughs> hmm. All right, let's just, let's start with Transcendence and see how the build or how the game plays out before we go and we specifically go for the evolving build. Because I don't know, man. Fighting an Osiris as a Wukong is not very good. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. It, oh, my neck. It will be a solo lane matchup, though. So basically, what I assume is we'll just slap each other in the penis for a little bit. Nobody's going to die. And then eventually, he's going to build Kins, and he's going to kill me. And then I'm going to lose. That's how the matchup would normally go in solo. But since we're in duel... It might be exactly the same. I have no idea. I have no idea. He had a full one minute pause at the start of the game. Okay. Um, let me grab this and I'm going to grab this. My will more strongly than ever. And I think I just go shell. I would go. I would go med. But he's already going to get anti heal because it's dual. Mm, I'm trying to think of like other relics that would go. I was thinking horrific too. Because, I mean, why not? Horrific seems like it won't be bad. But then again, if he just ults, he's like immune from it. Are you double bluffing? You are double bluffing. Oh my god, he auto reset. He auto attack reset. Are you just going to beat my ass right now? Can you win this fight? I don't think you win that fight. Oh, you greedy boy. You greedy boy. You went for the wave. Went for the wave when you had 4 HP and I had already cleared it. The only way he lives through that is if he like hits 5 and then ults my... Uh, what is it called? Hits 5 and then ults my, my thing. I'm just healing by the way in case you're wondering what I'm doing. I just want to keep pressure on him. Keeping pressure is the most important thing this game right now. All right, so now I can safely back and get my transcendence. And I already bought a chalice, so I will always have potions this game. And I think I think it's worth it to give him red buff, honestly. To get my my wave, my XP camp and my speed buff. What are you going to do? Okay. I clear much faster than he does, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. Fine by that. I am fine by that. You get absolutely, you get the red buff, but you get absolutely clobbered by me. 
that's definitely a trade i'm willing to take and i got my transcendence before and you're missing this gold too and you might even lose your blue all for the red buff that was so not worth it for him okay well he got his blue well played i'm upset that it worked but well played <clears throat> He's a mastermind at getting his buffs. But I am a mastermind at fighting, so... Might be fine. I'm still ahead. The most notable thing I'm ahead by is XP, even though he's gotten more buffs than me. Which is pretty insane. Ouch. You are mad annoying with your stone cutting. I'm going to heal one more time, as always. There is no way you're fighting me in wave again. You got to stop doing this, my guy. You are not as strong as you think you are in this wave. Oh, I'm surprised he back. It showed my face like I was going to invade him and he just said, whatever, do it. All right. Not really anything up right now. And Soul Leader is 1,500 gold. So, I guess I'm just chilling. I feel like this guy hates XP. Like, he just runs past everything to W key me all the time. I'm almost level 10. He got 9 off this wave, I get 10 off this wave. Oh, because you want red buff again, that's why. That's alright, you can have it. You can have it, I don't care about it. <clears throat> I do want to try to get his blue buff again. I know I didn't actually get it last time, but I did try. And it was close. Hello. I missed. Bro, your tower's almost dead. All right, once is blue. How much does my one do? Like 300? Nice. Oh, I stunned me anyways, doofus. Whatever, at least I got the blue. Be backing. <clears throat> His tower is almost dead because he's just not respecting it at all. I don't know. I don't know. He has Berserker Shield. Which is good, but... Pretty sure he just loses this. Collect uh, their right. I don't have my soul leader finished yet, but it might as well be. And I clear so fast. I mean, he's got all the way here for sure. Alright. I'm pretty sure his speed buff's not up, so I'm not even going to really check it. But I think this is actually just going to be turning into a, uh, a bit more of a tryhard game, because... This matchup isn't in my favor, and he's playing, or he's building like he really knows what he's doing. So, uh, I want to make sure that I'm actually, like, capable of responding to his build. Hello. Again. Hello. I'll 
take my red buff. Thank you. Man, I do way more damage than you. Oh, I missed. Yeah. I am getting all of his buffs now. I am playing very, very dominant smite right now. Like, I'm just... Even though he's the one that should be having the pressure, I'm having the pressure and I'm not letting him breathe. I'm following, following him everywhere, out securing all of his buffs with my one, and just making sure that he just genuinely doesn't have a good time in this game. Oh, I mean, he could steal this because they don't have my one up, but he's busy with the waves, so I guess I'm lucky. Going Toxic Blade? He went Sunder, too. Hmm. Is it weird that I kind of just want to go, like, Heartseeker now? I'm done to wait the hundred gold. Who cares? Come on, and heart seeker. I don't have breastplate, but uh, that's okay. I assume he's doing bull demon, by the way. Like I assume by waiting for heart seeker, I gave up bull demon. But I guess he was just waiting for me. I missed. I'm surprised he's not following me. He definitely should be. Oh, there he is. Hello. Oh, that actually hit. Okay, me getting stunned there was really bad. Uh, you have to ult because I'm going to kill you if you don't. Wow, he lived. Okay. He has to have like 4 HP, man. There's no way. That's insane. Collect their souls. Unlucky. But at least I get the red buff. Yeah, he's definitely going for his blue here. Damn. Just not enough damage. You think you can fight me? You cannot get anywhere near fighting me. Perfect. So if you're wondering why I backstepped there, it's because I needed... So he gets extra mitigation from people that he's tethered to. So what I did was I backed up to make sure that that tether would break so that he would lose that mitigation so that my one would actually kill. It was actually kind of a big brain play. Actually kind of a big brain play. I'm pretty sure I get this for free. I just want to make sure that I kill the wave. Because I'm like super not scared of dying to this guy. He has to ult me. He didn't ult me, so now he, he loses this fight really hard. Oh, he lived. Damn. I mean, he did lose the fight hard, but he lived through it. That heart seeker is doing numbies to him. Yeah. 
Is it weird? I kind of want to just go into Titan's Bane next. I think he's doing Bull Demon, by the way. But Bull Demon won't do anything for him other than give him a little bit more regen. Mm. Honestly, I could go Serrated. And then I guess I'll just go like... Yeah, maybe I'll just go Sunder myself. I want to make sure I get that red buff too. And then I guess what I can do is do Bull Demon. A little bit of extra regen wouldn't hurt or wouldn't help him, but it might help me. Just because I'm going to be sitting in his Phoenix line for the next three minutes. So probably worth it for me. All right. We'll see if he runs over here. I expect him to. But if he does, I also, I also expect him to die, so. Or if not die, get pretty close to it. By the way, Serrated is 20% pen, which is why I bought it. I know Titan's Bane is 40% technically, but... Nice. I was waiting for his ult to go out. And I waited for this, the the uh, Toxic Blade stacks to run away. So that I would get the full healing from my, from my good old wave. Honestly, I'm just waiting to re-get Phoenix. Because it's the safest I'll ever be getting it. And I'll poke him out while I do it. I don't think you ever win this fight. Like, literally ever. Perfect. And I mean, I gotta give it to him, man. He's definitely trying. He's definitely trying. Okay. I'll fight inside my fire minions and you will not win this fight. Fire minions are super OP. Hello. Mm. Dude, very good Titan damage. Jesus. I wonder if he wants to fight me here. Pretty sure you die here. Ah. Couldn't catch him with my ult, but we do win the game off that. And honestly, a pretty competitive game. Some decent fights. I played it well. I knew what I had to do, and I, uh... And, well, I knew what I had to do, and I executed what I had to do well. So, I think, overall, that was a good game, even though it turned into a bit more of a try-hard game. And I did go full damage, actually. I had a Tier 2 defense item, but I never finished it. I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, boys, peace.